I'm painting nine paintings of me and my eight sisters and I only have eight weeks from start to finish. To be clear, a project this size would usually take me around eight months. I have no idea how I'm gonna finish this. So why the tight turnaround? I'm on a mission of helping my sister Laura achieve her lifelong dream of being an artist. She wants to put this in galleries, like, and when the whole world's gonna see this. So stick around for the reveal because with this tight of a deadline, my paintings might end up looking more like a Jackson Pollock than a Raphael. And I am not trying to compare myself to any of the greats. R.I.P. Jackson Pollock. I don't know how to do this. I'm so stressed about having to do all these paintings in a gallery. I have a little helper. Hi. Which one should I paint first? Jessica's. I am the world's biggest procrastinator. And for me, painting has always been a relaxation. And now, this is the first time that I'm turning painting into the project that I have to be really stressed about. So I've been really struggling with what Jessica's social mask is, but when we took her photos, I'm pretty sure it's control. She's the oldest sister of all eight of us. <laughs> so I'm really wanting to kind of show off to Hava, be like, watch me whip out this painting of Jessica in like six hours. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to scrap the entire thing and redo it. Does not happen. Okay guys, after having a pun flab with Hava here, I have come to realize that once again, I must destroy what I have done because I do not like it. I think it's color palette. I had to admit, defeat and even Hava was giving me pointers about the different ways it was not working. And of course she's right, which only hurts my ego more. It's a disaster. I've basically taken a huge chunk of my ego away just starting with this project. I'm realizing I'm in deep trouble. If this is the first painting that I am starting and already I have massive problems, how in the world am I supposed to get this done in eight weeks? I'm supposed to have knocked this out of the park in one day so I can do another one and get it started and then I'm behind already and I've only barely just begun. I mean, I'm sorry, but like chill vibes are not working. Okay, uh, there's some major issues with it that I have to fix that I can't fix right now. I need to add a little bit of pressure to myself and realize out goes the relaxation Oh, painting is to relax me. That has to leave. I'm sorry, I have to get down to business now. I am going to actually approach this like I am in an art school environment. It is time to get serious. So this whole project is a collaboration with my sister, Laura. Laura is a fantastic photographer and she took all the reference photo material. So she's currently busy editing away, which means I actually, I can't let her down. When Rebecca told me that she wanted my work alongside hers in the galleries, I really, really hesitated. If I don't get this project done, that means that Laura's work won't be in a gallery, which she's like, over the moon excited about. Now, I have come to the point where it's like, I'm seeing what she's saying. I also have a voice. We're going to put them both up side by side in the gallery together. With Jessica's painting not working, I decide to move on to Bethany's. Bethany's social mask right now is independence, but she is an artist who quite frankly has a lot to say and a lot of opinions, but she's really, really scared of the repercussions. So she holds back. And I know wholeheartedly as soon as she grows up, the world is not gonna be stopped. It matches the brief so perfectly because Bethany is like caught. Like she's not ready yet. <sighs> I have two half paintings done. I'm supposed to have one and a half paintings done. I've gotten to a point with those two, Bethany and Jessica's, where I'm like, okay, we're gonna let you chill for now. With two unfinished paintings, I was in desperate need of a win on week two. Let's get started on another one. Today, we're gonna do Hava, because Hava is coming today to come and uh, paint beside me, so I figured since I have her, I might as well use her as a model. It's drying, so it's now time for me to go pick up my little sister, Hava. Ready to finish your painting? Yes. Okay. So Hava's painting is titled, what? I'm shy, okay? And she puts on this mask when she starts to feel uncomfortable that we call the cutesy mask, where she tries to act cute and shy and timid. Wanna come in and see her work? Yeah. Alexa, turn music off. Hava's all done hers. And I'm working on this one. With Hava's, 
I'm allowing my intuition to really take over. And how this painting is the first time I am feeling like I'm actually playing. And it, I just, I sit down and I lose track of time. I think nine hours later, painting accomplished. How on do you do that in a day? I don't know. And now I don't think I can paint any of the other ones nearly as well. And I might as well give up because this is as best as I can ever paint in my entire life. Okay, I'm back at it again today to do another painting. I honestly feel like I don't know if I even can do another painting. Like, doing the one of Hava in one day was a lot. However, I'm very proud of that painting. But now it's like, what if I can't do that again? Emma's social mask is the peacemaker. She's the one who is always trying to make sure that if there's any fights or if there's any frustrations going on, that she somehow creates bridges and she mends things. So in her piece, I really wanted to capture the sense of what that would be like. The title of Emma's piece is a peacemaker's burden. And she's there's a sense that she has to like, put it on over top of who she is and sometimes she feels like she's not seen because she's having to see everybody else i finished it that's two paintings this week that i got done oh i'm so happy look at her she's so pretty after the success of week two i was feeling optimistic about week three every time i approach a new painting i never know what i'm doing one thing i knew with annabelle's painting is i want to incorporate elements to really feel the you the background was a thing that really drove and motivated the painting Anova's social mask is trying to be older than she is and filling shoes that are quite frankly too big for her. Is it working? I have so many ideas in my brain and I don't know how to execute it so it looks good. So I paint as realistically as I can around the shoes specifically because I'm like those really need to have more of a vibe of like maturity to them. I love it when this happens when I don't expect the painting to turn out the way it turns out. And I'm like, wait, what? It turns out I just, there's something about the background being like so bright and cheerful and playful that makes me just wanna cry because I remember myself just being this little girl playing dress up and now I'm an adult and it sucks. <laughs> well, yeah. I feel like everyone's social mask is really guiding their painting, except for Jessica's. Why isn't this working? I don't know how many times I have tried to fix this painting. I think it's now the fourth attempt. I feel like every single time I start the painting with Jessica, it's like a little step closer, but it's still a long ways away from where it needs to be. If only I just started it right. You know what I said? Laura told me that she liked the painting, but something has to happen with the hair because she looks like she's a balding man. And now I can't unsee it. So now we have to fix this hair and actually get some hair on it. I'm still on the fence about whether or not I finish Emma's dress. So as you can see here, there's that bodice there and I think I really want to work on that bodice. Maybe bring in some of that yellow warmth. The more that I stare at her dress, the more fixes I can do. Do I do the bodice? Do I leave the bodice? I still don't know. Joel's like, there's no way you're gonna get your deadline, get these all done by your deadline, which is really only fueling me to make sure I do. <gasps> I feel like I'm getting absolutely nowhere with this project. I just like fix after fix after fix and that's all I'm doing. The only thing that is keeping me going and keeping me focused is the fact that this is also Laura's dream and that Laura is really excited about this project. She's probably done right now, so. So stressed is an understatement. I mean, how hard can it be to edit photographs, right? This project, just means so much to Rebecca that I have all this pressure of like not wanting to let her down. That all of it is just making me feel overwhelmed. Maybe I'll just go watch Bridgerton. By week five, I was beginning to get really stressed. I only had three out of nine paintings finished and tons of adjustments on two that I didn't know how to fix. Okay, I've struggled a lot with this piece and how to start it. I just keep feeling violet. Simmerit's social mask is 
defense. If she's always having to fight. I pick colors for the underpainting that I know clash together, like orange and red and pink. These colors are so awful on the actual underpainting that it actually repulses me. I don't know what I was doing with Zimmer's last time. And it makes it so difficult for me to sit down and paint. That is not okay. That is not, that is, what was I thinking? As I keep adding these layers on top, the layers get more and more calm and they get more and more serene. It's actually a very peaceful moment for Simret, but her dress itself, I want it to have looked like it went through a battle, right? And it's a moment of when the warrior, let's say, is down and is, is not having to fight. And what does it look like? Oh my gosh, if only this was my reality. Okay, here's the deal. This painting needs a lot of fixing. The top half is okay, but the bottom half is just, it's garbage. I keep on looking at Bethany's and realizing it's not done, it's not done. I need to do more. This is too boring, this is too bland. So I'm telling this story, what's the story? So I don't know, I like the like poofiness of that, of the cotton candy effect in this one that I think maybe we can pull into Bethany's just in here. I may have gone a little bit overboard. Week six, I knew I was in trouble. I was putting in long hours and it felt like I was creating more problems than fixes. Today is Laura's painting. And I have a good feeling about this one because I am feeling so alive. Laura's social mask, quite frankly, is FOMO. She has a very deep fear of missing out. And so to capture that, I knew that when we wanted the dress to really be quite in motion and like she's running to keep up, and we got a really beautiful reference photo, but when it came to actually painting it, this painting of Laura is so not turning out. I mean, at this point I was really struggling. I'm gonna destroy it. I'm destroying it. it it's not gonna stay. Problem is warm colors are at the front. Meanwhile, cool colors pull back. Here's the thing. I like this painting. The face looks great actually. I did manage to fix it, but there's one massive problem. My color theory is completely off. The white that I was using felt cooler than the orange of her skin. Just when I think that I'm actually getting somewhere and I might actually finish this project nice and strong, of course there has to be a hurdle. Week seven started off strong. Okay, time to start another painting. This time, self-portrait. I somehow want to capture a sadness. I juxtapose the fact that when I start to feel sad, I will tend to crack jokes. I have painted myself a million times, but this is the first time I actually feel like I am staring back at my twin. The title of my painting is Letting the Clown Go. Okay, my problem is this. What do I do with this background? Do I just leave it blue? The blue is quite nice, but it's just not enough. And of course, as soon as I start putting the green on in the background, Joel comes in. No, I like the blue. So Joel just came in and said he did not like the green. Okay, Woo. I did a background that I absolutely am in love with. I was very worried. Jessica tells me I need to call Laura and have a conversation with Laura because she's feeling pretty overwhelmed. I'm sorry, I've been working my butt off Laura for two months. Um, how hard is it to just add in some brightness to some photos? Hey, for instance, okay, let me show you where I'm doing with Simmer's Conobus because they are like the scariest and biggest. She opens up her project library and shows me what she's been working on. Oh my word. Hey, thanks for talking. It's actually inspired me. It's a letter. Yeah. Okay. And if you ever need to inspire yourself, just talk to me. Well, well, well. This is a rude awakening for me. I feel bad for Laura. I feel like I'm pressuring her too much putting too much pressure on her, which is making her procrastinate. I'm afraid she'll just quit halfway through. Oh man, am I gonna scare her away from ever wanting to be an artist? But she can't really quit halfway through because we have an actual gallery and we actually have to display our work, so. Okay, my friends, it has come to this. I am going to attempt to do Jessica's painting and finish it. There comes a point when you're doing some work where you realize that it doesn't matter how hard you try to fix something. If it doesn't work, I might have to scrap this painting entirely and start over. I'm hating it. I step away from it after pouring in all these hours and time. I have like one week left, and I, at this point, like I'm telling you, I will not put this painting into a gallery. I cannot face this painting. The idea of it being on a wall is like, no. 
I can't save this. What am I messing with it? Why isn't it working? I have one week left and I am not sure I'm going to actually get these done. I'm gonna have to get a whole new reference photo and start over. <laughs> I posted the last video to YouTube. The one about my sisters being models. And it's, it's, a, it's a story that's very heavily focused on Jessica. We struggled with getting her brief right then. I feel like I've been struggling with getting her brief right since and doing this, I don't know, doing her painting. Every time I've talked to Jessica, she's felt like, that's not me, that's not me, that's not me. This whole entire purpose of this project is to make people feel seen and heard. I, I don't know where what I'm missing. I feel like I must be missing something. I have no idea how I'm gonna finish this. And I'm super nervous about starting Abigail's because oh my gosh, it's so hard. Girl, you're gonna get that painting of Abigail done in one day. And it's a challenge I'm setting for myself because sometimes I work really well under stress, which is why I'm having panic attacks. And it's why I, my anxiety is so freaking high. <sighs> I'm calm myself down and I am going to get to work. So Abigail's title of her piece is Queen of the Drama. I am so nervous to start on Abigail's because, oh my word, if I start this painting and I and I do the wrong color, it could be like really Illuminati, which is just not what I'm going for. Abigail is very, very, very perceptive at noticing the drama that can be around other people. And then she'll often bring that to the front if she feels like she is getting it's getting too vulnerable for her. So with that, I knew that the dress had to be this spokesperson. It took me six hours to paint to Abigail's. This is the record. I have yet to paint a painting in six hours and now I just did it. Oh, I can't believe I get to do this one. So, my dear friends, shall we finish this last painting? I have been struggling with the painting of Jessica for so long because I'm like, it's about control. Is it about, can control be a mask? Like I, I keep on trying to figure Jessica's mask out and it's not, it doesn't seem to be sitting right. She doesn't feel like I have captured her at all. It's not that I'm trying to control. I'm only showing the parts I want you to see. That's how I try to control the situation. For sure, there's an aspect of control in Jessica, but that's not her social mask because everybody's mask is a form of control. It's how we control our image for the world to see. All of this time, I've been like, whoa, Jessica's mask is control. Dude, it can't be control. That's like, that's like going too deep. I have finally found it and it's clicked. She wants the world to be beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's interesting to have heard her say words like, I'm embracing all aspects of who I am and being yeah. beautiful in the way it draws people, it is who I am. Like, it's always been there. It's been staring us in the face. I think that's part of all the systems that we get in each other that we don't even use words to understand. She had mentioned this to me where she was like, there are moments that are dark and, and awful and she doesn't feel like that's fair to ask people to hold that space for her because it's about her trying to curate a like a beautiful image for the world. I'm gonna call her up. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, what's up? This would be my I, conclusion. It's something about ma like making it beautiful. Like honestly, I think that you're right in that sense because like yeah, you, like you love you love going and cleaning people's houses for them so that they have a beautiful you know, home that they can come back to. Beauty is life changing. And that is my goal. Like in life, the thing that I am about is like you want to make the world happy and laugh. Like I want to make the world beautiful. That is who I am. I finally feel like I found the thing. She relates to it. And I'm like, this is what a social mask is. Your social mask is the control that you have. But let's call it the power you have of how you present yourself to the world. That's the social mask. And the beauty is that as a sister, yes, we can see it because it's such a tight, close-knit relationship that that person has let you see their vulnerable side, see them at their worst. And so this is just kind of, I guess, also naming what what is 
the thing that is them at their best. Ah! Can't believe it took me this long to figure this out. All that's left to do now is to get them into a gallery, which if you are interested in following along our journey is the next video that is coming out because let me tell you, that is a whole entire journey on its own. Watch my channel because we are going to be live streaming the gala for all of you on YouTube.